far, I'm at the gym. You can see the light is pouring out from within. The light of balance. This is the key to our success in our balanced life. Vindai Rabbi with Muna. This is the Muna channel. We have to keep healthy, we have to keep balanced. We have to find the wearable to be able to pay for this. So this year alone, I mentioned before, I talk about the eight different jobs I had. Once again, I apologize for any background sound, but we just have to focus in to what sounds that are important in our life and to phase out which are not. So with eight different jobs, a person can get very worn down. This is one of the challenges we have in Eretz so It's a place where we get to really dig deep inside ourselves, inside our abilities. I personally, I work for a cash risk organization. Got to have an insight for a few months, the world of cash risk. I was already around two Jewish years ago. Before that, I was working for a charity, helping young Ethiopians put tefillin on for the first time in their life. And Talesim, Ethiopian Jews, in Eretz HaKodesh, and other special children that were in this center that I worked at. I also had the merit after the cash was to work in, in a rehab, a rehab helping young people fight the struggle within. Even old people were there, people much older than me, double my age, fighting that inner struggle to control all the different drives and passions that go on nowadays. And then I was able to work in an organization that helps bring education to the Holy Land from America for the international students. And then I was able to help an organization which bring grants, which helps bring funds to other charitable organizations and nonprofits and other great projects. And then I was able to help with a new company that was helping bring new employment to the Holy Land. And then also work with another one of those companies who was trying to bridge the gap from Eretz as well with all this university campuses in America. And then finally I have a job now which is working in customer service. And one of the things I love about it that gives a Muna is the joy I bring to people by helping them with what they need and giving them that respect they deserve. Ideally, a person should be able to, as Rob Jaw said, through Amuna alone, find his support in the Holy Land. And I've had many, many years before this last year or two where I was living in a different world in terms of how finances were taken care of. But there's also a very powerful experience of going into the world and still seeing how it's all from, from Hashem, how it's all with Amuna. And that was a powerful, powerful part of this last stage of this search for a good job in the Holy Land. Because I really realized that it's totally, totally in Hashem's control. And even the money I'm making is just enough. As I watch story after story, I just make it through to pay this, to pay that. And that's a very powerful experience because you see how Hashem makes miracles day after day. And that's important to keep that perspective, even when you have a fixed job of seemingly a somewhat fixed wage, that you're not fixed on that being your source of income. You need to turn to the Bona Shalom, to Hashem, to Amunah, the master of the world, to really thank Him, ask for more panasa so you can support your own trip to the Holy Land as we were speaking about these blue skies. They don't pay for themselves, you have to come here. You have to have a plan, a balanced way, a balanced schedule. And that's what we're doing at this point in the gym, keeping healthy, about to go do some weights and start running now. And I just leave you with that message that we can make a successful path in the Holy Land, even if it comes with a lot of struggle and a lot of inner resources, success.